What's going on guys? It's Seth with NudaAssets.com and I'm back again with another one. This is going to be a very painful video to make since there's about the very first Bitcoins that I bought back in 2017 when the price was just under $6,000. But I know this will help save somebody else out there and be a teachable moment for all of us except I'm the scapegoat in this situation. I will make this video very short. I will answer four key questions that I know you're probably asking yourself right about now. How many Bitcoins were stolen? How did it happen? Is there a way to get it back? And uh, is there a way to protect ourselves? So without further ado, let's get active. All right, so let's answer the first question. How many Bitcoins are we even talking about? To answer that, let's jump right onto the PC so I could show you that. So here we are in my garage. Here in my garage. No, psych, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that today. So here we are on my PC. And then uh, we currently have my Exodus wallet pulled up. Uh, if you are not aware what this is, this is basically what we call the software wallet. The soft wallet for short. Some people also call it the hot wallet. H-O-T wallet. Um, do not ask me why they call it the hot wallet because I really do not know. So let's just move along. All right. So there are currently two transactions only two transactions in this wallet on december 7th 2017 we uh, we see that a little bit over 0 0.06 bitcoins was uh was received in this wallet and then on november 5th 2020 that about that amount was sent out uh to uh, another person or another address after that transaction, we can see that the amount of Bitcoins in this wallet is just 0, 0.00. Uh, let me do a refresh so you, you catch my drift. All right, so the amount stays the same, right? Uh, that means uh, this transaction has been completed. There's no way uh, of like you know, returning the amount of Bitcoins back. So uh, you're probably asking yourself, uh, what, what's going on? There's nothing wrong, right? Uh, you're probably also asking, why is that uh, the amount of Bitcoins over here different from the amount of Bitcoins over there? Uh, that is because of the network fees. So, uh, when you send a transaction or when you send Bitcoins over the blockchain network, uh, you are charged a transaction fee uh, by the miners. So that explains uh, the difference in the amount of Bitcoins over here and over there. So you're still wondering in your head, like, you know, Seth, so what's going on? What's going on? Like, you know, I don't see anything wrong over here. Uh, Bitcoins was received and then Bitcoins was sent. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, but then the thing is, I did not I did not make this transaction over here. I did not send my Bitcoins to anybody. I did not make it. I did not. I wasn't trying to be nice on that day. <laughs> you know what I'm, what I'm saying? I was not trying to be nice on that day. So I did not send any Bitcoins on that day. Um... So I did contact Xdas, the company that makes this soft, uh, this software wallet. Uh, they really couldn't help much. They they, they they were telling me, okay, yes, it could be uh, some type of malware, or I probably downloaded uh, some application that, like you know, was probably hacked or something. Um, so, but the thing is, uh, with crypto transactions, those are not reversible. You can't really reverse them. It's kind of like Cash App. You can't really reverse it. Um, so. This Bitcoin is is gone. We invest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest and it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. So that answers the question of what happened. The thing is, I really, I still do not know up to, up to today uh, how this happened. But you know what? Let's take a look at this transaction on a blockchain explorer. We can see basically the same thing that uh we saw uh in my uh, software wallet so on this software wallet this is the same transaction id that i basically i'm basically searching on the blockchain explorer and uh we can see that we have a sender and we have the receipt a uh, recipient right there's the input and there's the output um so over here we could look at my address right and uh, we can look at how many transactions that i've happened on uh in this address uh so on this address we only have two transactions which was the one that i sent i mean when i received the 0 0.06 a little bit over 0 0.06 bitcoins and then when that was and when that was sent out right so when the person sent out that amount of bitcoins the person paid 
this amount in fees uh, to the miners uh, for using the blockchain ne uh, network, right? Uh, now let's take a look at the other person's uh, address. In this person's address, this person has at the moment 99 uh, transactions and a whole bunch of them, uh, like, you know, some of them are still happening. The last one happened on, uh, Dece uh, on December 28th. So uh, I'm not sure if this person kept, like, you know, taking people's money. I'm not sure what happened. But then it looks like uh, this person had uh, way, many, uh, way many more transactions uh, after uh, he basically took my stuff. Okay, so making a long story short, the thing is I cannot get these Bitcoins back, all right? Uh, these uh, Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. You cannot do uh, undo them, you know what I'm saying? So once it's done, it cannot be undone, all right? So I'll just have to eat this bullet, no homo, all right? Uh, I'll just have to eat it. Um, there are people out there who have uh, lost, uh, you know, millions in Bitcoin. Um, the amount of Bitcoins that I lost, 0 0.06, a little bit over 0 0.06, is about $2,500 now. Some people have lost bit, uh, Bitcoins worth over a million dollars, you know what I'm saying? So I know I know this in life, and I'm saying I'd rather take uh, a $2,500 lesson than uh, have uh, a million dollar lesson, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that's what I have to say to myself so I could sleep better at night. But then, uh, yeah, I, I know I would rather take a $2,500 lesson than a million dollar lesson. All right. So right now we have uh, three questions answered. We have the question of how many Bitcoins were stolen? We have the answered. We have how did it happen? We have that answered also. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? How it happened. But then I know I'll definitely be cleaning up my uh, computer very soon. Um, also, we have the question of is this reversible? Can I undo it? Can I get my Bitcoins back? And then uh, with that, uh, we already know it cannot be undone. All right. So now the fourth question, how do we protect ourselves? Answering that question is just a matter of perspective, right? For me, a software wallet just failed me. So I'm definitely not going back to a software wallet. I'm definitely going to be sticking with uh, cryptocurrency exchanges and a hardware wallet moving forward. Uh, for some people, a software wallet may just be working fine for them. It's just my cup of tea that, okay, yes, it just happened uh, to me. So they might be just great using a software wallet. But then I will recommend you do not use a software wallet moving forward. If you are going to use it, at least move it by the next day. I should be accountable also definitely because, okay, yes, you don't hold as, uh, like, you know, cryptos in a software wallet for that long. So I'm definitely accountable for that part as well. But I'm definitely going to be sticking with hardware wallets and crypto exchanges moving forward. And I recommend you do as well. And for the person who stole my Bitcoins, I got a voodoo for you. I got the African voodoo for you. I'll see you in your dreams. If you made it this far into this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I also have a couple of videos coming out soon on the stocks and cryptos that I plan buying in the month of January. So if that is something you are interested in, uh, hit the notification button just to make sure that, okay, yes, you get notified when I do publish those. Join us on Instagram. I post that pretty much daily. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.